Bring it in, baby. Bring it in. It's showtime. 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 Time to let all that deadness go. Time to liven it up. The team that makes the fewest mistakes will win. Play for and make the break. If at first the game of break goes this year. I haven't been on the on the same field with my dad since I was 13, and that's when he was coaching me in Little League. And that, that was just an amazing feeling. James Berry served as a running back for Tennessee from 1978 to 1981 and ranks 19th on UT's all-time rushing list with 1,721 career yards. Y'all getting me excited. Woo! <laughs> Like his father, Eric was voted captain of the 2019, and last Saturday, James Berry was honored as one of Tennessee's legends, alongside former head coach Johnny Majors. I guess you could say Saturday was the, the defining moment of why I came here. Both of us being captains uh, on the field and before a game, that was just an amazing feeling just to have both of us, two, two different Berries at two different areas at the same time. Uh, the near field like, as captain. He's the type of guy, he came here to earn his way, and I think he's done that. He's proven himself as a, as a leader on and off the field. Uh, he's my son, but he has great character. He's a good guy all around, and it's, and it's genuine. James Berry has been a big influence for Eric throughout his life and has instilled in him the hard work ethic it takes to be a top ball. Uh, he's been a great influence just to see how, how hard he works to take care of his family because when I was younger, he had two jobs. Uh, he was always working and things like that, but he always made sure we were straight first. Uh, he always put us before himself. I gave you much love. I gave you much love, you know. I sent, I sent out a message of love to all of you, you know. Much like his son, James Berry was a hard-nosed player that always gave it his all and has certainly been an inspiration for Eric. To see how he, how he played the game uh, from a running back position, how hard he hit the hole, how hard he blocked, uh, how hard he just did everything, no matter what the situation was, he, he did it 110%. And uh, that's, how, that's how I wanted to play the game. That's how I wanted to be remembered to play the game. Like father, like son, the Berries have taken their pride of the game and their outstanding skill and left a mark on Tennessee football. He's accomplished things that, you know, just about once in a lifetime. And then to have all the people here to really love and, and respect him, so I think it's, it's, it's wonderful. So uh, It's not enough pride to really express how I feel about it. I see, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. For the Lane Kiffin Show, I'm Rick Russo.